Hey guys, this video is the walkthrough of Wise Guy from Trey Hack Me. So Wise Guy once said the answer is usually as plain as day. So let's do this. So basically the first task is source code. Yes, it's me again with another crypto challenge. Have a look at the source code before moving on to the task two. So we can just download the task files from here, which is basically a Python script. And you can just view the Python script if you don't understand, if you don't know about it. As you can see, this is 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 and a 1337, which is something to note. So basically, if you don't understand uh, the code, then what you can do is copy the entire code, open the browser and open an LLM like ChatGPT, like Copilot, like Perplexity. You can just open an AI tool and try GPT uh, for using uh, like this. You don't have to create an account. So yeah, we can just um, paste and their code into the AI or ChatGPT. So, and then it will explain uh, about this code. If you want to understand the code, then you have to do like this if you don't know about coding. So anyways, uh, let's get started. So I have downloaded the source code. So I'm just clicking complete and it's done. So now we just need to start the machine. I already started it. And you have to read this, like your friend told me you were wise, but I don't believe them. Can you prove me, prove me wrong? So when you are ready, click the start machine button to fire up the virtual machine. Please allow three to five minutes for the VM to start fully. So the server is listening on port 1337, which we find it in the source code also, right? 1337, the server is listening via TCP. You can connect it using Netcat or any other tool you prefer. So yeah, we can just open the terminal. Let me zoom the terminal for you. And we know that the server is listening on port 1337, right? So we can uh, just connect to the server using netcat 1337, netcat IP and 1337. And as you can see, we were able to connect it, right? So you can also perform, if you would like to perform some nmap scan, then you can also perform that, like nmap service versions line to uh, know which ports are open and find the service versions related to contents. So it's 99.99 percent is done and it's done, right? So we can see there is only one port open, which here is SSH and the version is open SSH 8.2 P1. So this is only the information that we have. So anyways, we can see that 1337 port, we have the XOR text has flag one. So to find the flag one, uh, it is saying that this XOR uh, text has the flag one. So basically when I moved to the browser in the tray hack me, I was able to see what is the first flag and what is the second and final flag. So these are the two questions that we have, right? So the first flag. So to find the first flag, so you just need to connect to 1337 using netcat or any other tool that you prefer. So here I use netcat. So anyways, this is saying that this XOR encoder test has flag one. So basically it is saying that this test is XOR. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. Like this is XO encoded text. So what is the encryption key? So basically this encoded XOR encoded test has the flag one. So we just need to decrypt it. After that, we just need to put uh, your encryption key. So just stay calm and just read this sentence. Like this XOR encoded text has flag one. So basically this contains, this text contain flag one. And if you put the encryption key, you may get the final flag. I don't know. So let us see that. So you can just copy uh, the XOR encoded text from there. And I'm just opening a mouse pad. So in the mouse pad, I'm just pasting the XOR encoded text. Okay. So in the browser, I'm moving to a website called Cyberchef. So which is a great website. If you don't know about it, then you have to visit this website and explore this website. It's so cool. So anyways, this is basically XOR encoder text, right? So we can just search for XOR. Here in the operations, we are putting the XOR into the recipe. And here uh, you can see uh, an option for entering the key, right? So let me view the XOR encoder text. So this is our text, right? So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just copying the first eight characters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first eight characters, right? 
I just copy the first eight characters from the XOR encoded text and I am just putting that into uh, uh, the XOR key. Okay, so basically, you know that the most of the Triacme uh, flags will start with the THM, right? So basically, you can see the hint, right? It's uh, star, 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 and the curly brace is open. Every flag, or uh, in usually most of the flags in Triacme, will start with the THM, right? Which is in capital letter, right? So you can just put THM and curly braces open. This is the starting of every flag, right? So this is it, right? So when I put THM curly braces open, then I got the output as L, X, and I. And I also put the first eight characters of our XOR, right? So if you are uh, doing lab with me, then you have to copy your flag, your encoded text. It is not similar as me your content will be different your XOR encoded text is different from me so basically you just need to copy the first eight characters right one two three four five six seven eight and uh, in the cyberchef you just need to paste the first eight characters of your XOR into the XOR key and you just need to enter the input as THM curly braces open because most flags in tray hack me starts with a THM right so it is also confirmed that we can see the in the hint it is usually THM curly braces open and some contents and curly braces closed. So that's something that you need to note. So basically we just put the THM and uh, the curly braces open and the first eight characters as XOR uh, encoder text and we get the output as LX and I. So we can just copy the LX and I. So from now we just copy the LX and I and uh, we are going to import a hex like from hex so this is basically hex we're just converting from hex to the flag so basically we are now changing the xor to lx and i so and changing the hex to udf8 it's basically udf8 so anyways i'm just uh clearing all the inputs i just uh found the lx and i key from only xor and the first eight characters in the xor tab as you've seen before right now what we are going to do is just open the mouse pad in the mouse pad we have the encoded contents right so i'm just copying the entire content from here and opening the firefox browser and in the input i'm just pasting the entire content as you can see we can see our flag which starts with the thm curly braces open was here but rest of the contents are not what we wanted right so we have lx and i so the characters in your computer may not lx and i it may be any kind of characters you just need to follow the steps to get the answer right so we have thm curly braces open right and we just need to find the rest of the contents so that is our flag to find the rest of the contents right so for that what we need to do here is just press one and you can observe the uh, flags right we just need to perform some kind of brute forcing right so yeah uh, just enter one and we uh, it's look like this is not a flag so we just need to enter two and it looks like it's not a flag we just need to enter three and enter four and enter five like that you just need to enter a number still a zero like four five six seven eight and nine and zero and it's not the flag so now we what we need to do is enter q and w basically you just need to enter all those characters and this like doesn't look like flag because the flag usually ends with the curly braces closed right so it's not e it's not r t and y u and you just uh, need to uh, try with all the characters this is like brute forcing right so i'm just gonna try in a and s and d f g h j k l z and x as you can see when i enter x as i was able to see the flag right it's thm curly braces open and curly braces close this is what i found right so this is the flag so basically what we need to do is just first try with one two three four five six seven eight nine zero if you can't find the flag flag usually ends with the curly braces closed right so that's something that you need to keep in mind if you can't find the flag you just need to start with the q w e r t y and all the keyboards uh, all the characters in the keyboard right <laughs> so after that uh, you find the flag so you can just uh, place the first flag here you just found the first flag 
So what we need to do here is what is the encryption key? So we found the flag one from this XOR encoded text and what is the encryption key used? So here the encryption key used is this LXNIX. In your encoded text, uh, the key was not similar to me. It's something different than me. So you have to copy your XOR text, uh, your XOR key from Cyberchef to this terminal. What is the encryption key? You just need to paste the encryption key here and that's it. Congrats. This is the correct key. Here is the flag 2. So we just found the flag 2, right? So it's cool, right? It's some kind of encryption a lab from Triagme. <laughs> so anyways, we just found the flag 2 and we just completed. We just earned 60 points and that's it. See you in the next one.